Well, many of us were happy to see some rain Monday. It isn't enough to get us out of those drought conditions. There has been no rise in water lake levels just yet. Fox 44's Jessica Rivera spoke with the city of Waco today and gives us an update on Lake Waco's water levels. Jessica. MG, the city of Waco says we're going to need a lot more rain to remove the water restriction plan. Lake Waco is still down nine feet. While it was great to see some rainfall in the Waco area, we didn't see enough to change the lake levels. With yesterday's rain, it did replace um, just under three days of loss, so it added about 243 million gallons into Lake Waco. The Waco area saw nearly an inch of rain yesterday. As of today, Waco Lake is 65% full. We still need about 15 inches in our watershed to even consider any additional changes or um, uh, changes to our current water restrictions. Earlier this summer, Waco City Manager Bradley Ford voiced his concerns about the lake levels, quickly putting Waco in a stage two drought contingency plan. Looking at the weather patterns, the city of Waco is expected to move to stage three in a couple of months. We are looking at a potential change to stage three. Um, late October, early November, if if kind of the water patterns and um, water uh, the weather patterns remain. So what do we need to see to get out of the water shortage? When we look at our water conservation plan, the water shortage will end once it's above 455 feet, so at 72 percent capacity. Until then, the city of Waco is asking all residents to follow the drought contingency plan. People that are that are reporting people who are not following the restrictions. Um, as of last week, we had received about 120 citizen requests um, since this all began. And um, as of August 1st, we have issued seven citations. The city of Waco says if you see someone not complying with a water restriction plan, you can report it on the My City Waco app. In the studio, Jessica Rivera, Fox 44 News.